Hi guys, I am back today to show you my favorite way to strip paint from furniture. So this chair I painted about seven years ago and I actually used latex wall paint on it. And this paint stripper is gonna work just as well on this paint as it does on the chalk paint that I usually use now. This is Citrus Strip paint stripper. It is my go-to paint stripper. I have been using it for years. I've tried other paint strippers in the past and I prefer Citrus Strip over all of them. I like Citrus Strip because it works so well, but also it's a thick formula. So as you can see, it sticks to vertical surfaces, which is great whenever you're stripping furniture. There are always vertical surfaces that you need the paint stripper to stick to. Citrus Strip also has very low odor. It has like an orangey scent and that's why it's named Citrus Strip. It doesn't have all of those fumes that you have with other paint strippers, so it's always my go-to. Whenever you use any paint stripper, be sure to wear nitrile gloves or heavy-duty gloves that can protect your skin from all of those chemicals. Citrus Strip is so thick that I usually just pour out sort of a blob of it on whatever surface I want to strip, and then use a cheap, chippy paintbrush to spread it around. When you apply that citrus strip to the surfaces that you want to strip the paint from, you want to make sure that you're using a thick layer of citrus strip. You want that orangey thick color to be left behind. I think a mistake that a lot of people make when they start stripping furniture is they don't use enough of the paint stripper. It dries out really fast and it's not able to penetrate the layers of paint easily. Another common mistake of beginners is they let that citrus strip dry out. So really the only time that that citrus strip is working that it's able to penetrate into the paint is when it is wet. That allows the chemical reaction that's necessary to happen. So once it dries out, it's not strip, it's not penetrating into the paint anymore. It's not helping you strip that paint away. So the trick to keeping it wet is to use plastic wrap. So you can use generic plastic wrap, you can use saran wrap, whatever you've got on hand. Some people will say that they even use plastic drop cloths. You just want to lay it over all of the surfaces that you've put citrus strip on. That will keep that citrus strip wet longer and allow that to penetrate deeper into your paint. So you have less need to do a second coat of citrus strip or a third coat of citrus strip later, depending on how thick the paint is on whatever you're stripping. So this chair has three layers of latex wall paint on it which is pretty thick already, and the stripes are probably four or five layers thick. So that is really thick paint. I covered it in this plastic wrap, left it for an hour and a half before I came back to strip the paint off. And let me show you how amazing just that hour and a half with the citrus strip did a job on this paint. So I've got my heavy duty glove back on because this will probably end up touching um, my hand otherwise if I didn't have a glove on. I'm just carefully peeling that saran wrap off before I get started. So typically you're going to want to use a plastic putty knife or paint stripping tool so that you don't risk gouging your wood. I always use my metal putty knife that I've had forever. I'm really comfortable with it and I know how it works. If I was going to be working on soft wood though, plastic would be the best option. I'm just gently scraping across the surface of this little chair and the paint is almost completely coming off in just this one pass. Just in case you're unsure, I did speed up this segment of the video just so that it's not so boring to watch, but you can see that plastic helped that citrus strip penetrate so deep into that paint that it's actually coming off with just one pass of citrus strip. I don't end up having to use it again for this project. I've used that trick to keep my citrus strip wet longer on stairs inside of houses that I've needed to strip, on all kinds of furniture. It always works. Be sure to always do it because if that citrus strip dries out before you get a chance to scrape the paint off, you almost have to start all over again because that it will harden and the paint will harden back up again. So you want that citrus strip wet when you go to scrape it. You want it wet longer so that it penetrates deeper into the paint. Just use that plastic tip and you'll be good to go. Real quick, here's a fun look at how easily the paint came off of the back of that chair. So that was a vertical surface, guys, that that citrus strip was sitting on and that came clean off really easily. Now let me tell you how to get rid of that little bit of paint residue that is left behind on the wood. 
Okay, so here is that little chair a few days later. Now, as you can see, there's no paint residue left on this chair. That is because after I was done stripping the paint off, the paint residue that was left behind, I removed with this paint stripping scouring pad. So as you can see, it's sort of like a textured um, pad that's safe. It's not gonna harm the wood, but it is um, coarse enough to scrub away the paint you use, the, or yeah, the paint, yeah. You use that with um, mineral spirits. Of course, you wanna make sure you're wearing your heavy duty glove again because that mineral spirits is not safe for your skin. That scrubbing pad is also really get great for getting into crevices. Sometimes I use even like a soft bristle toothbrush to get into um, tighter spots. After you have removed all of that paint residue with that scrubbing pad, let your wood, let your furniture dry completely. So every project is probably going to have a different dry time, but you want it to be completely dry before you start using a sanding sponge or sandpaper on your um, furniture. So I just lightly sanded this uh, chair with this. This is a 180 grit, I believe, sanding sponge, and it cleaned it right up, as you can see. So scrubbing the paint residue off of the chair does not require that much effort. It's not very hard, so don't get worried about that. Lightly sanding the surface to get it looking nice again was not that hard either. So this is an easy, doable project, guys. I think most people should be able to do this. Good luck stripping the paint off your furniture, guys, and don't forget to check out my videos for really cool ideas on how you can paint your furniture.